Steve has 24 marbles. Each marble is green or red. For every green marble, Steve has three red marbles. How many marbles does Steve have? I think many of us, when we first read this problem, think the best idea would be to draw a picture. And I agree, that is a very good idea. So let's try it. We can see that for one green marble, Steve has three red marbles. Since for every green marble, Steve has three red marbles, if we add another green marble, he will have three more red marbles. We now have how many marbles total? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight marbles so far, two green and six red. But we need to get to 24 marbles total. It seems like drawing pictures takes a long time. So a faster way to do this is to make a chart. Here is a chart to help us organize our thinking. So we have the color of our marbles on this side and the total, and we have the number of marbles. So we see here that if we have one green marble, we have three red marbles, and that creates a total of four marbles. If we have two green marbles, then we have six red marbles. That creates a total of eight marbles. Let's look and see what happens if we have three green marbles. If there are three green marbles, there will be nine red marbles. That creates a total of 12 marbles. Do you see a pattern? If we have four marbles, oh, if we have four marbles that are green, we're going to have 12 red marbles. That gives us 16 marbles total. So you'll notice a pattern. It's going up by green marbles by one. One, two, three, four. Our red marbles are going up by three. Three, six, nine, twelve. And our total is going up by four each time. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So if we have five green marbles, how many red marbles are we going to have? That's right, fifteen. So you may also notice that this number times three equals this number. Two times three equals six. Three times three equals nine. Four times three equals 12. Okay, so we're gonna then add these up to get our total of 20 marbles. Now let's keep trying. Let's see what happens when we have six green marbles. If we have six green marbles, then we are going to have 18 red marbles, and that gives us a total of 24 marbles. So let's reread our problem to make sure that Steve is doing this correctly. Steve has 24 marbles. Do we have 24 marbles? Yep, we do, looking at our total. Each marble is green or red. Do we have green and red marbles? Yes, we do. For every green marble, Steve has three red marbles. So we see that every green marble he has, he has three red marbles that goes with that. How many red marbles does Steve have? Okay, well we know the total is 24, so we can see that he has 18 red marbles. Let's go ahead and check our answer. So right here we can see that we have green marbles and red marbles. For every green marble, there are three red marbles. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six green marbles. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 red marbles. And we know that six plus 18 is 24. So we have the correct answer. There are 18 red marbles and we have 24 marbles total. Great job, Steve. Great job, fourth grade.